Welcome to Berkeley, where size matters. My name is Rebecca Heald. And I'm Dan Levy, a postdoc in Rebecca's lab. Our laboratory is interested in how the size of intracellular structures is determined. Cell size varies widely among different organisms and during development, but how intracellular components, such as the mitotic spindle and the interface nucleus, adjust to different cell sizes is not understood. In our paper, we investigate the mechanisms behind nuclear size control. We use Xenopus frogs that allow us to investigate scaling in vitro. So why don't we go inside and meet the frogs? So this is Xenopus lavis, and it is a well-known model system because extracts prepared from its eggs can be used to reconstitute many cell cycle events in vitro. We've discovered that we can use the smaller related frog, Xenopus tropicalis, to form structures in vitro as well. And interestingly, nuclei formed in Xenopus tropicalis extracts are smaller than nuclei formed in Xenopus lavis extracts. Now let's go meet a couple more frogs. Let's discuss mechanisms of nuclear size regulation. Whereas the amount of DNA in the nucleus doesn't have a major effect on nuclear size, we did find that nuclear import rates are much higher in Xenopus lavis egg extracts. This movie shows a GFP fused to a nuclear localization signal added to the two extracts. What you can see is that nuclei in lavis extract grow faster and are brighter due to increased import. Our work explores the hypothesis that nuclear import underlies nuclear size regulation. The nucleus is enclosed in a double membrane called the nuclear envelope, which is lined by an intermediate filament network called the nuclear lamina and perforated by nuclear pores through which transport occurs. In this clay model, the envelope is blue, the lamina is orange, and the pores are yellow. Why are your nuclei bigger than mine? Well. My egg cytoplasm contains three times more of a nuclear import factor called important alpha, shown in pink. As you can see, important alpha transfers cargo such as the nuclear lamin proteins. The higher levels of important alpha in my cytoplasm direct fast import, leading to formation of a larger nucleus. So, is that it? No. If we compare nuclear growth in your egg cytoplasm using the same model, we see not only are alpha levels lower, but there is four times more of a factor called NTF2, which impairs the import of large cargoes, such as the lamins. The different levels of these two factors is sufficient to account for our nuclear size differences. So is nuclear size passively determined by bulk import, just like blowing up a balloon? No. Specific cargoes must be imported for nuclear growth. One of them is the nuclear lamins, in orange. Are there other situations in which changes in nuclear import contribute to scaling? Yes. During the rapid cleavage divisions of early development, nuclear size decreases with cell size, and this correlates with the decrease in nuclear import rates and important alpha levels. Is nuclear size regulation important? As a matter of fact, nuclei are often enlarged in cancer cells, and nuclear size is used diagnostically to evaluate malignancy. So, elucidating the role that nuclear import plays may provide new ways to assess the functional significance of nuclear size regulation.